Hey guys, it's Anya, otherwise known as Pink Sweets here on YouTube, and I am so excited. So today is that day of the month where I do my Inspired By series with my friend Kyra here on YouTube from the channel Journey and Beauty. So every month we choose a different influencer that we are inspired by. This was started to bring some positivity to the beauty community, and we just love doing it. It's one of my favorite things that I do on my channel. And we choose a different person, like I said, that we're inspired by every month. And this month we chose Lisa Lobotomy. So I will insert a photo of her here now. So Lisa is an amazing, sweet person. She has an amazing channel. I think she has one of the most amazing senses of color placement. Like I just love the way that she places her colors when she does her makeup. She doesn't just do beautiful, colorful makeup. She knows exactly what to do with the colors and where to put them. And I just, I love it. I admire her so much. And, <clears throat> excuse me. And um, so we each chose a look of hers today. I can't wait to see what look Kyra chose. But I knew exactly the second that we decided to do this what look I was going to do because Lisa has done a lot of different things on her channel that I haven't seen a lot of people do. And one of the things was she does a, she did a Juvia's Place week where she chose a different Juvia's Place palette that she owns every day of the week. And she did a different thing with them. So like one of them she did a palette bingo. One of them she did all the mattes in the palette. One of them she did shimmers in the palette. So the look I'm choosing was when she did it with the Saharan palette, which is looks like this. My palette is a disaster. It is very well loved. And this is the palette on the inside. So with this palette, she did an all shimmer look. And when she did it, I was like, I know that I want to recreate that look one day. So uh, it was a no brainer when we decided to do her for this month as our inspiration. I knew exactly what look I wanted to recreate. So that's the look I'm going to do today. I'm so excited about it because it's so pretty. Definitely go check out Kyra's channel. I will have her linked in the cards, I think, up here and in the description box. I will also have Lisa's channel linked. Please go check her out. She does all kinds of videos. She does first impressions, palette bingos. She does uh, different series on her channel. She does tag videos. She even created her own tag that has been going around here on YouTube that I plan on doing. So definitely go check her out as well. And she will also be linked in the cards and in the description box. And I will also link the video where she created the look that I am going to recreate today. So I'm going to start out with my regular MAC paint stick in pure white. And I'm also going to put some glitter glue over top of that because it's an all shimmer look. And that's what I like to do when I do all shimmer looks. So I'm going to take that blend it out. I don't know where my normal sponge is that I blend out my primer with, but that's okay. Any sponge will do. So yeah, we started this series. We have done creators with, you know, we have done all, what am I trying to say? We've done creators with all different content. We have done creators that have all different levels of subscribers. Um, you know, bigger influencers, micro influencers. So we are doing everyone, anyone that inspires us. So I will, I'm actually going to create a playlist now that I think of it, of all the different people that we've so far done. And every time that we add somebody to it, I will add the video to it and I'll put my video and Kyra's videos. So, um, I will have that. If you go to the tabs above there's like a playlist section so there'll be a playlist there it'll be called inspired by and I don't know I'll try to remember to do it by the time this video goes up but we'll see uh, so yeah so I think that'll be really good and so the look that she did like I said was all shimmer and she used only three shades she used the shade kaya which is this it's a it looks black but it has like a very green shift to it and then she used this shade right here which is called wadabi and then she used this shade which is like a white shade but it has like a bluish green shift and it's called iman so those are the shades we're going to use today so the first shade she went in with was kaya and 
normally do I do I don't know I'm trying to figure out which order I normally do my eyeshadow in I think I go back and forth but so like I said this has a very black base to it but if you look in certain lights it has like a very green like a foresty green shift so it's a really really pretty and unique shade and I love it Juvia's Place shadows definitely don't need a glitter glue, but I just like using a glitter glue with any shimmery eyeshadow that I ever use, so. And like I said, when I first saw this look, I literally thought, oh my goodness, like I never would have thought to put those three colors together. And I think that that's why it's so much fun when you do like a either a palette bingo or someone chooses the shades for you or when you do something like what she was doing where every week she did a different thing with the palette where you know she had to use either all shimmers all mattes one time she did like one row and stuff like that and I just think that you can get some of the best color combinations that way so now I'm going to go into the shade Wadabi, which like I said is this beautiful gold shade right here. It's one of the most beautiful golds in my collection. And Lisa is a <clears throat> Swedish YouTuber. She actually had started out her channel in Swedish and then she transitioned to English and we have a lot of friends in common. We have never done a collaboration, just the two of us. But we've actually been talking about it recently. So that might be in the future. I would love to collaborate with her. I think she's amazing. And yeah, I just think she's so good with color. She's a huge fan of Linda Hallberg and Linda Hallberg products, which she has me wanting. She's the reason that I want the Linda Hallberg um, mood crayons because I keep seeing different people use them, but I first saw them on her channel and they just look, I don't know, they just look like they have such great pigmentation and they're multi-purpose, so you can use them on your face, on your eyes, on your lips, and they come in all different shades. And I think you can buy a set. So I'm just going in with a little bit more of the first shade and of course my look may not look exactly like hers because everyone has different makeup styles and it's inspired by so it doesn't have to be exact but I usually try to get it as exact as I can so now I'm going in with the shade Iman which is such a beautiful white shade that has like I said like it has like a bluish green shift to it and I'm going to put that in the inner corner and then I'm going to go off camera I'm going to do my base and then when I come back we're going to mimic the same thing on the lower lash line because that is what Lisa did and I just think these three shades together are so pretty I do definitely think they look different on me um I, I personally feel like the look looked prettier on her. I'm not sure why. I don't know if it's skin tone, hair color. I'm not sure, but I am going to go off camera. I'm going to do my base and I'll be right back to finish up the eyes. Okay, so now that we're back, I actually think this look looks a lot better on me when my base is done. So that's good. I already did, uh, what did I do? I did my brows, I did my base, um, I put on some highlighter, I did blush, although I put a little too much blush, let me clean that up a little bit. I used the Juvia's Place blush palette and it's very pigmented, okay. And then I'm gonna take a pencil brush and we're gonna do the lower lash line. I already put mascara on the top, uh, top lashes there we go so now I'm gonna take the shade Kaya oh and I put 
like a green eyeliner. She did green and gold. I realized just now that I don't own a gold eyeliner so that I know of so I'm gonna have to look in my collection make sure that that is true and if it is I'm gonna have to get one because that's unacceptable I feel like I do have a gold one because I own the Urban Decay eyeliner vault and oh just got some eyeshadow in my eye and I feel like there's one in there so I just need to look but for this purpose, I just did green. See, this is what, if you guys saw my Jeffree Star Alien palette video, well, a few of them that I've done, it always burns my eyes when I put the, when I get the shimmers in my eyes or when I put them near my eyes. And like this, I just got a ton of the shimmer in my eye and it did not burn so i mean that's saying something i guess i'm so excited about the jeffree star collection the morphe collab i know some people are some people aren't i'm excited about it especially the setting spray and i'm going to be going to the morphe store to get it so that's exciting. Okay, so I just went ahead and I put the same shades on the lower that are on the upper. And then I'm going to put mascara on the lower lash line. And then for this look, she did a nude lip. Well, kind of a nude lip. A nude lip with like a peachy tone. I'm going to use my Glam Light um, Churro. Yes, Churro Liquid Lipstick. So showing you the mirror so that's what I'm gonna do with this one here and I think that'll go well with it or is this the gloss see okay this is the gloss and this is horchata I don't know why it's because they don't hit the name so I'm gonna have glossy lips but they're gonna be the same shade as her liquid lipstick pretty much that's okay But yeah, I love this series. Like I said, I just think it is really cool to support each other, which we all do. Like we have such an amazing, you know, small creator community here. And um, I just think it's really nice to do this series because it shows that we all support each other and that we're all inspired by each other and I just love that. I'm just going to take a little bit of setting spray and we're done. Okay. So this is the finished look recreating the look by Lisa Lobotomy. Like I said, Lisa and Cairo will both be linked in the description box and in the cards. Please go check out both of their channels, subscribe, let them know I sent you, show them some love. I will be watching Kyra's video when you guys are watching this. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.